Well, our next guest says President Obama sees democracy as a form of social inequality. In a recent cartoon, uh, he draws a young Barack Obama at the blackboard writing only one answer to every problem posed. As you see there, government. Joining us, Michael Ramirez. He's a Pulitzer Prize winning editorial cartoonist. Oh, let's be let's be serious here. He is a two-time Pulitzer Prize winning editorial cartoonist, uh, senior editor with Investors Business Daily. Great to have you with us. Uh, Michael, we appreciate it so much. Uh, this is, uh, I, I love uh, your cartoons, and I, I would want to just, uh, if we may, go to a, a few more of them to, to get your remarks. But I, I want to first get your idea of what you think of the fiscal cliff. You've got to find this to be rich fodder for your talents. Well, absolutely. You know, I gag, I, I, I always uh, jest that I have the best gag writers in the world working for me, politicians. And this White House has certainly given me plenty of fodder for cartoons. And it, it's it's funny to to think about uh, these events, but they're very traumatic and very serious. On the other hand, if they don't pass uh, something to avoid this fiscal cliff, we're talking about over six hundred and seven billion dollars worth of money taken out of the economy next year. And I, I just want everybody, if we can, if we can put up the uh, the, the next cartoon that we have there. It, it matters not which one you all select. Uh, but this is one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Debt Commission, uh, Erskine uh, Bowles and Alan Simpson saying, one, it's very difficult, and then saying it's very complicated, and then cut spending. I don't think you could have cut, if you will, uh, better uh, to the essence of the issue and uh, the, the absurdity uh, of the, uh, what is they are creating as obstacles to uh, that resolution in Washington, D.C., uh, absolutely. I mean, the problem here is that it's spending, frankly, and, and there's a finite amount of capital that can be used out there, and it can be divided either in, in, pri in the private sector, which creates businesses and creates jobs and creates federal revenue, or it could be given to the government, which is just a bureaucracy, and it creates nothing but bureaucratic management. And if you look at the, uh, you know, the last GOP Congress, the 109th Congress, and their expenditures were about uh, $2.7 trillion, and they had a a budget deficit of $161 billion, and now the president's proposals are about $3.8 trillion in spending, with uh, deficits increased to almost $1.3 to $1.5 trillion. It's, I, the, it's the economy, stupid. It, 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 it truly is. And uh, I, I want to also, if we may, put up the, if you will, the, the cartoon with the uh, folks. <laughs> We do this very elegantly and slickly here, don't we? Please put up the, uh, the cartoon, Michael's cartoon of the envelope. Uh, I just want everybody to see that, if you will, uh, because it's great. In the, in the left-hand uh, corner, from the Nation of Achievement, 100 Main Street, America, USA, to the Nation of Entitlement, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. Uh, I mean, that is so, to me, it is uh, not only witty, I mean, it's brilliant. Uh, and, and if, Thank you. And, and, and can we put that back up? Because I just want to see, show you something that some might miss uh, in that uh, cartoon. If you look at the stamp in the, <laughs> in the upper right, it, it's zero cents. It is a food stamp. Uh, <laughs> I, I have to say, we're, we're looking at a president who is willing now, Michael, as you know, uh, he's insistent on $82 billion of tax increases on the so-called wealthy, the top 2%. Uh, and that's going to amount to just about nine days, almost nine days of operating the federal government. So this right. is it's, it's in more and more absurd proportions. It really is absurd. I mean, when you think about it, uh, with the deficits cast to about over a trillion dollars for the next four years, and frankly, this is going to add maybe $82 billion a year. Right. It's, it's nonsense. And it's a parody of reality. And these people are just not responsible about their duty as, as being uh, fiscal managers for the United States. And frankly, when you think about that, I mean, $20 trillion in four years. If you paid it off at a dollar a second, you'd be talking about 60, 670,000 years to pay this debt off. And their, their responses are improp, uh, impractical. And when you look at the, the biggest growth, which is entitlements, and you think about uh, the dynamic shift in our demographics, when people right. are getting older, they're living longer, the costs attributed to that with less workers, because our, our population isn't growing that much, 
uh, this becomes catastroph uh, catastrophic if they don't do something realistic to curb the spending problem. And as of tonight, it looks like there is nothing realistic uh, going mm -hmm. on in Washington, D.C. Imagine that. Uh, Michael Ramirez, it's great to talk with you. I hope you'll come back here soon and often. Absolutely. Uh, it's great to see you. Michael Ramirez, great uh, senior investor, Thanks. Uh, Business Daily uh, senior editor. Uh, and, you know, I'm amazing, as you saw there, uh, editorial cartoonist.